Hello everybody and welcome! My name is Ursa Ryan and I've been playing a lot of very difficult games recently so I thought I'd treat myself to a laid back, proper, SimCity chill game as the Pope. Now this is a modded Civ as I'm sure you can imagine and we're playing as Gregory the First, of course the best Pope. I, I have no idea, I have no idea about Popes but the actual abilities of the Pope and the people states as this mod gives you is pretty cool. Extra great profit points at the start of the game. Religious units have an additional charge and are unaffected by zone of control. That's amazing. The ability to buy Swiss Guard, who are really good against cities. An amazing Holy Site replacement that has uh, major adjacency bonuses to the city center, government plaza, or consulate districts. You've got shrines and temples that can be purchased with faith. You've got shrines and temples have a slot for great works of writing and great works of writing give two science per turn and an additional two faith in golden ages and dark ages this is this is awesome religion victory culture victory who knows really we're going to kind of go for something something in the middle these are the deets uh island plates legendary start position low sea level 18 city states and i believe We've got standard speed, we've got deity, and we've got barb clans, heroes, and legends, secret societies. Woohoo! Let's just get cracking. Where to settle? Do I settle in place? Or do I get rid of the wine and settle on that? I think actually I'm going to go settle on the wine. Quite like that idea. That to me feels like a win. And Gazploosh! It's Bologna! Haha! <laughs> so as you can see, because I settled on the wine, I have an extra food and an extra gold per turn. And a second wine over here. It's pretty good, really. And yes, of course I'm going straight for astrology. I'm going to get the world's first religion. It's going to be great. Beowulf lives in Zanzibar. Cool. If you say so. There's Signy as well with Hunza and Oya and the Hermetic Order and astrology boosted. And unfortunately, no Void Singers. But that's okay. I'm going to go for a Pingala start today. Actually, this is Island Plates. Why am I even doing that? Come on, Ryan. Use Use your brain. Let's go for a Settler. As you can see, I'm already getting great profit points per turn. Just for one. But it's all you need. Rome. Why is it that I always meet people that are just after the games that I've just played? Like, it just always seems to be the thing. No idea why. Astrology boosted now. That's good. We'll get Animal Husbandry. And I'm just going to go and plonk down. Like you can see. Nice. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> It is a Lock District JFD Diocese Government Faith. Ah, fun, fun, fun. One of those, but I'm just going to place it down just to lock in the district. I did get a recon unit in the end. It's quite fun. Must get over here. Wow, there's a lot of commercial city-states. I think this game is telling me to go for harbours. Clearly, clearly a good, a good one. What are we going to get in here? This little tribal village. Anything fun? Some Wakong? No, have I met Void Singers yet? Come on, Void Singers are what I want. No Void Singers so far. Yep, just as I expected, there were horses under where I was going to build the holy site. Always happens. Sneaky game. Look, I'm trying to expand Rome. I'm having problems, okay? It's too close to Christmas and I've put on too much weight and now I can't get rid of it. That looks like where Rome is settled, so I think I might need to go and steal something the other side of Hunza, but I have moved all of my units away, so my settler is going to be frighteningly unescorted. Let's see how that goes. Okay, we're doing this one step at a time. One step at a time. Oh look, Hunza are taking care of the barb camp. That's awesome. Oh, and Void Singers were in the fourth tribal hut I found. Thank goodness we found them. Yes, I am going to go Void Singers. I mean, it's quite clearly the best thing to do. Second city is going to go straight on top of this honey. I think that's quite a good, good little space for me there. Yes, of course. Nice plus four holy site there. Nine turns as well. Oh, I love a sieve with a special holy site. That makes such a difference. Holy site completed. Plus four era score. Ah, oh, it's just giving me so much faith. But I can, of course, purchase in shrines with faith, which would be a really, really good thing to do. If that's what I was planning on doing. I should be getting two holy profit points in now, which I am. I'm not even going to get the first religion at this rate. Hilariously. So I probably should work on that one a little bit. Unless I just buy in the shrine. I'll save my faith to do that actually. That would be pretty good. So let's get a holy site prayer for now. Today we're going to go for divine sparks. Because I really like the idea of getting amphitheaters. Now that sounds like a lot of fun. Torres de Pania. Oh, I've found some amazing... I mean, this is just one really stretchy continent and I love it. We're going to 
going to settle everywhere on this continent. It's going to be great. Already. Already I feel like this game is like a super chill game. And I'm loving it. Hercules, you say? Well, now he would be good. Wouldn't it be great if I actually got to use Hercules in a game properly? I'm going to put him in my second city. A hero walks among us. It's Hercules. Okay. Holy site prayers are done now. Government Plaza will actually give a major adjacency to this holy site. So that's really, really cool. In fact, actually, if I pop it here, what I can do is do that and create a plus eight over here, which I quite like the idea of, actually. So let's go and do this. I need mining to do that. Why have I not got mining? Come on, Ryan. Oh, it's so nice to get the first religion. It really is. I feel like I should probably go for Catholicism this game. Feels feels right. And as tempting as it is to go for Feed the World, I've got to go Work Ethic because that production bonus combined with the major adjacency bonuses means that I'm going to get some crazy, crazy production at the start of the game. I love it. I absolutely love it. And should we go for Crusade? Because we are the Pope? I mean, it's tempting, isn't it? Um, I mean, what, what, what could we do? What could we do that's themed? Let's go for Teeth. <laughs> it's got to happen, isn't it? You can't, you can't deny it. So that's four production and three production to the two cities respectively. But that's going to get to more once I get to theology, which is not going to take long. Don't you worry. I also went Void Singers because honestly, how can you not? All that faith. It's going to be great. Knock, knock. Who's there? It, it's Hercules. Of course it's Hercules. It's always Hercules. I keep getting all of these three builders and actually I've almost run out of things I can do with them. That's the crazy thing here. And I love that. Let's raid the clan quickly. Yay! More gold! What's up in the frozen north? Oh, it's Bob's. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's no fun. Let's get this government plaza sorted. Yes, I'd like to automatically delete map tax. Best invention to this mod ever. Founding the city. It's another city. It's wonderful. That's going to be a great... Oh, great holy site. I love it. Golden Age. This is actually brilliant because now I can go for Monumentality, which is wonderful because I've got 36 faith per turn already. It's been an amazing start and I will continue this start for as long as I can get away with it, really. So there are theatre squares. I can now pick those up, which is cool. No need to get settlers anymore. Let's go for Urban Planning or actually, no, Corvette because I'm building a wonder and Discipline is good. Yeah, for now, that's all very well and good. I've got no food though. This is my major problem at the moment. No food whatsoever. It's a nice little road. Look at that, all down the coast, away from that galley, which is being really, really annoying. Hercules is not going to get used unless I actually use him a little bit quicker. So I'm going to labor through all of these buildings, which should do well for me. Increases the uh, production nicely. Actually, I say that if it actually followed the religion, which it's struggling to at the moment, which is a bit annoying. One more city. Kaboof! Haha! -ha. Already we have Classical Republic, which is amazing. Great writers per turn. Yes, I'd love all of those points. That's great. Urban planning. And let's go for first envoy councils too. It's always a nice treat for me. Zanzibar. I've almost got Zanzibar. Now that would be something fun. What do they want? What is the Zanzibar quest? Um, trigger Eureka for masonry. Hey, I think Zanzibar just bowed to me. And I've uh, that's in uh, Zinzibar. <laughs> oh God, Sinbad. God, my words today are atrocious. Right, Bologna has got 15 production already. I could get Sinbad in 10 turns. Let's just finish the Hanging Gardens and then I'll pick up Sinbad afterwards. Chopping out the rainforest so that I can build my holy site. The reason I'm rushing these through so quickly at the beginning of the game is so that I can get here, Hercules back, like exactly after I uh, I lose him, which is not, not too long away. One thing I need to seriously think about is canals, actually. This looks like a very canalable um set of land like lots of thin strips and things that i can be settling on which looks really really cool so got to think about that one i'm gonna pick up hunza a because it annoys rome but b means i can try and see where they are himiko oh she would be good as well rome looks like they've got a lot of sugar like a huge amount of sugar scripture that's 22 extra faith per turn but don't forget that translates directly now into production Oh, this is going to be really, really good. And that says it's a plus four, but it's actually a plus eight. And this says plus seven. 
That's now plus 14, so that's a 14 production. God, these wonders are going to be building very quickly now. Hanging Gardens. Which this gives me extra hero unit lifespan, which is a bit rubbish, really, but increases growth by 15% in all cities. Now, that is the really important one because I have next to no food in all of my cities right now. So any growth bonus I can get is a big deal. Horseback riding. Uh, let's go for construction, get the water mill, which I'm going to build in my capital soon anyway. It's about time, but I'm spreading my religion around now. That was missing out on 16 production per turn, that city. To just a small amount. And this city was missing out on 6 per turn. Missionaries. Never before has it been more important to just spread my faith, like, as quickly as I am doing. How many turns left have I got monumentality? 25 turns, probably. I mean, that's crazy. Bologna. I need you to now get your theatre square going. Um, let's have a quick think about where we can put this. I like the idea of a nice plus two. Uh, I'm just actually thinking now about sort of arrangements about where I could put things with harbours. Um, okay, I think if I put my harbour here, then I'm going to put the uh, mausoleum there. So yeah, theatre square goes there. That's good. Sinbad is going to be great, by the way. Like, I am so excited for Sinbad. The Temple of to the Artemis. Clouds. That is, Those I think, three food in that city, as well as a little and bit of housing. Said, but each camp, pasture, and plantation within four towers of this one that provides plus one so immunity. And you can see just by all of the... Uh, the horses around and the deer and everything. There's going to be quite a few amenities in the city, which is lovely. Already up to plus four. Zanzibar is giving me a great advantage at the beginning of this map, actually. Really enjoying that. Okay, Sinbad can do a few things. He can move on to Ocean's House, he can find new continents, and he can kill barbarians. All of these things are going to be very useful. So how much gold am I going to get? 300 gold. Well, that's nice. Brilliant. I just, I just had a heart attack there because I lost a unit and I was like, oh no, I've got to give a city away. But no, no, not today. <laughs> We're not playing those rules today. Oh, thank goodness, eh? Right, instead of exploring over towards Rome, I'm going to go in the other direction and see what other continents I can find. You can see I'm also building one, two, three, four theatre squares now. They are all coming down. I'm going to get so many writers, it's going to be nuts. Oh, because don't forget... Every writer gives me two science and an additional two faith per book. That's per book, actually, thinking about it, which is pretty cool. Found the city, a new city here. Hee hee hee. That's a wonderful city, isn't it? Um, I think we've got to immediately just plonk this down. Yeah, let's just do it. Right, who's this? Dido. Okay, you are on the coast. Fortunately, this city's not as easy to kill as I kind of would hope. And Kazakamu, oh wow. Combined with um, Grandmaster's Chapel, the Pope could be an incredible, incredible warrior with that thing. I think that would be awesome. Selling a little bit of gold for my luxury to there as well. Diplomatic favor, still buying that and selling it to Rome, like so. Everyone's happy with the Pope. I'm doing some wheelie dealing. Right. Sweden. Oh god, Sweden and Rome are both having a fantastic game. Look at that. 75 science, 75 science. There's an epic for myself. That gives me just a little bit of faith. Um, and I think I can get him back this era. Yeah, I can, which is another three, three districts, which is awesome. Bologna. We're going to purchase in the amphitheater for you. Now, combined with Pingala's uh, ability which I'm going to put on next and the fact that I've got the Pantheon that gives me an extra great writer that should start to accelerate really really quickly I'm going to also pick up the Oracle nice and quickly as well actually now I was going to put my oh industrial zone there but actually do I want to do that do I want to do that so many things that I can build in this area the Oracle might not be even the best one for me which is crazy because the Oracle is normally really really good in fact actually I'm going to swap to that tile and I'm going to build the Oracle there now that this city is on two population, sorry, but you have become tribute to another settler. 5.7 great writer points per turn. It's good, but it could get better. And I will make it better with Pingala and Grants. That's double great people in that city. Perfect. There's a theatre square and amphitheatre. I'm now getting eight writer points per turn. I've got to get as many great writers in this uh, first stage as possible because this is when they are their cheapest. Let's immediately go to theater square festivals okay we can run out a few of those we've got the oracle happening in my capital i'll get theater square festivals in the other two cities in a second as well 11.5 writer points per turn now he <laughs> he okay 
this is where it starts to pay to have a think about it. I think Bologna is where I want to put as many great works as I can. And you can see the amphitheater's got two, the palace has got one, the old god obelisk has got one as well. Uh, and then the shrine has one and the temple has one. So, I mean, there's loads of places we can put this, but I'm going to start with the amphitheatre for now. Let me not. And then hopefully, if this is working properly, sometimes modded ones don't. There we go, there's two science per turn. This is, this is good. It means we can get some science without having to actually get science at all. One more settler and a missionary. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's a lovely plus four there as well. Again, one more settler and plonking it down. Nice plus three. You settle too close. Oh, Rome. Uh, yeah, we can just take grievances because I'm clearly going to do it again. I'm just that sort of person, you know? Just take no shame in these things. Oh, 400 gold for finding a new continent. That's good. That means only one thing, a new amphitheatre. I'm up to 12.6 now. I just got 28 writer points in a turn and I only needed 60 for that great writer. I mean, that's pretty good. I, I like this. I like this this way of playing. It's so far, I held up a so far it's been A+. A plus from me. Hello, Mr. Barb Hut, don't mind me. Yes, I know I just got the Sanguine Pact. That's all great and everything, but it's really the gold I'm after because now I can get another amphitheater because I don't have enough of them. I just saw some very powerful looking units coming across the ocean from Rome there. Didn't like that at all. So I'm just going to get a preventative Hercules in, which is a thing. It's a technical expression, that, a preventative Hercules. Okay, that's 10 turns or nine turns for the next era. It's kind of happened a bit quicker than we'd like it to. I think mainly because we're doing so well, which is the ridiculous thing. Um, an old god obelisk. Yes, you know what? I will treat myself to one of those. They're quite good. They stack up nicely. Let's get myself a granary as well. Another great writer. This is good. Uh, they're still on 60. As I say, the more you get in the classical era, the more you get at that cheap 60 rate. As soon as it goes into the medieval era, you've missed your chance. So this is kind of what we're doing at the moment. Goodness me, every city-state is a it's a commercial one. It's it's crazy. Um, I think Gaza Gamir was is a good one, but Mogadishu I'm just going to pick up for now because that's like non-plundering trade routes. It's it's really really handy, really really handy upgrade. And bang, I just finished that. Um, now we go look at that 12 production all of a sudden of this tiny little city. It's great. It's wonderful. In fact, actually I'm going to treat myself now. To another settler um yeah 400 gold because i found another continent okay just gonna check to see if any of my cities don't have amphitheaters i think the answer is they all have amphitheaters uh yeah they do okay cool well i'll just hang on to the gold for a second then another writer six turns until the next age how much for this one 60 again oh my goodness so many great writers this is great I love it. I love it so much. The light just came. keep. I'm, I can't actually get rid of them all quick it's enough. And Shan. Oh, hmm. hang on. Is that the one I think it is? Is that the one I think it is? Plus two science from each great work of writing. Hello. Well, I mean, unfortunately, you seem to have been captured by somebody. Suleiman? Is that Suleiman? No, that's not. That's not Suleiman at all. It's Saladin. Sorry. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway. That's pretty cool. Or recall. Recalling heroes costs Pray less faith. Patronage of great Delphinius. people costs less faith. Also Districts in the, the city itself. provide more great writer points. Delphinius. I mean, and really, there's forever. nothing that is not to be loved about the Oracle. It is a wonderful, wonderful wonder for what I am I doing again, here today. Divine right? That's a government. That is a government. Right, hang on. First of all, 32 writer points again for another writer. Because, of course, we haven't got enough. Um, okay, unfortunately we've run out and we've already, we've now gone to medieval era, so that's okay. That means that whilst I do want to rush them, at the moment it doesn't make sense to just keep rushing them at the expense of everything else. So all of the cities doing theatre square projects, I'm just going to get them to stop and to do something else that's a bit more like interesting and exciting, like getting builders, building infrastructure, like temples, because faith and faith accumulation is going to become very important in a couple of turns. And every single time a frontier town gets to two population, it's like bonk. The reason I'm doing it from two population cities is because it's much quicker to go from one population to two than say seven to eight. 
so it's always good to do it in two population cities if you've got no like time pressure on it at all i'm just gonna go and settle on new continents as well very exciting macedon hello macedon well i got to 100 culture by the way turn 86 again 100 culture by turn 100 it's not a bad one we've massively exceeded that so settling on the geothermal fissure as you do i'm gonna put my new Holy site down on that tile. We'll go and explore this little island to see if there's anywhere else I can go and settle. And Hercules has just been waiting to give this city a nice, nice little start. And I'm just going to get a shrine so that I can get a missionary. What I'm doing is I'm actually just keeping my eye out for uh, classical era great people. Like this merchant, really, really cheap. And I could pick him up and give myself extra trader capacity. It's not ultimately useful if I haven't got a commercial hub but when you can pick people up really really cheap sometimes you do just kind of have to pay attention and go is it worth it I'm going to settle the city on the snow just because I kind of want to prove how pointless it is three era score I mean that's wonderful I think I also got an era score for settling on the snow not that it matters because I've got like maximum era score right now oh nice plus three lovely stuff who's this Saivia okay Nice to meet you. Yes, yes, good to, good to meet you and all. I'm trying to avoid circumnavigating the globe until next era. One turn. And then I can I can just sort of like get the era score then. Here we go. Medieval era. This is where it gets fantastic. Feudalism means I can take out urban planning, which was giving me 10 production to be fair. And I can stick in serfdom. That's a great thing. Um, literary tradition is still giving me two settler points per, or writer points per turn, which is pretty good. But I'm going to get maritime industries and we're going to build a navy to sink the world now. It's definitely what needs to be doing. We've got stirrups boosted. We've got engineering boosted. We've got a golden age, which means I'm going to go for monumentality again because I've got so much faith. It is ridiculous. What's my best food route I can do? That one or that one or that one. None of these are that exciting to be fair, but I'll, I'll plonk on that one. Why not? I just need Bologna to come to 10 population so I can build a uh, harbour. That would be an amazing thing for it as well. But now, now I'm getting extra builders or builder charges, I should say, which is really, really cool. Um, oh, Hercules ran out of charges. Ah, oh, boo. But here is the main one. Void Singers Chorus. 20% of faith goes into gold, science and culture. I've got 217 faith. So that is 40 science, 40 culture, 40 gold. Yeah, Ursa uh, so Ryan has just become an absolute powerhouse. Oh yeah, I haven't got a single campus and I now have uh, the second highest science in the game. And the reason my harbours are so exciting is because there's so many mercantile city-states. I'm going to get a lot of gold putting all these down. Circumnavigation, 5 era score. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Midnight Oil, Trefidaskby, Paul Coffey, Senjik, and Kroger Brand Trail Mix for all of your support on Patreon. Thank you very much.